I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. Well, the cold air is here, and it's not just us that's dealing with it. This cold air enveloping a lot of the East Coast. Let's talk about how widespread this cold outbreak is. So we're in the midst of it at minus 6 here in Toronto, uh, into the minus 8 to minus 10 range across northern Ontario, and then it extends all the way up in toward Edmonton, where this Arctic air mass is sitting. Uh, it's warmer, though, and you book it's basically bookending the country with warm air. Vancouver at 9, uh, 4 degrees out in St. John's. But uh, we're going to be dealing with the cold air for the next couple of days. Let's take a closer look at what's going on temperature-wise here across the GTA. Minus 7 in Newmarket, about minus 4 here downtown. Feels a lot colder than that when you factor the wind into it. Your wind chill sitting at minus 11 uh, min at the island. And in Markham and Newmarket, meanwhile, minus 13 in Toronto. So it is going to be a cold night tonight. And the potential for records again falling uh, out at Pearson Airport. The record to beat is minus 8.3. We have minus 8 in the forecast. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as we head into the day tomorrow. Uh, we are looking at uh, temperatures, though, that are going to be about that minus 7 mark as we head into the day. And we are going to find a bit of sunshine coming our way as well. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on as far as midday temperatures are concerned. Minus one feeling like minus five by midday, and then that cloud cover continues to build as we go into the afternoon. One degree more cloud expected. Now, as we look at the seven-day outlook, it looks like this. Temperatures dropping to about minus two by Sunday morning. So the overnight low temperatures, really overnight tonight is going to be the last really cold one that we're going to see here through this stretch. Then they'll start to warm things back up. But one degree in the forecast tomorrow, four degrees on Sunday, and plenty of cloud cover over the weekend. Back closer to the seasonal mark Monday into Tuesday, keeping an eye on some wet weather there through the day on Wednesday. A dry gap on Thursday with relatively mild temperatures, and then rain returning as we get into Friday of next week with a couple of rain showers expected. That is a check on the forecast.